Have you ever been tired of that pesky YouTube update that got rid of dislikes? Well have no fear. Return YouTube Dislikes by Dmitry Selivanov, a brand new browser extension that will return YouTube Dislikes. This extension has gone viral, currently has 14,000 users and a 5 star review on Firefox add-ons. Folks, YouTube Dislikes are back. Hey guys, gals, and pals, Mr. Obvious here. And today, I wanna to talk about YouTube dislikes. Now, as you well know, YouTube recently disabled the dislike button. However, a very, very smart individual has restored them. So let's look at some reviews here. A user named Lewis says, works fine. Let's hope this extension doesn't get canceled. XD. A user named Aaron says, the person who made this must be feeling like a messiah right now. While I'm at it, let me say, <laughs> um, screw YouTube once more. They keep ruining their own website by the second. Even the co-founder of YouTube is shitting on this decision. Now I know what you're thinking, folks. Is this browser extension secure and how exactly does it work? Well, if we go over to the frequently asked questions, here it says, where does this extension get data? It says, a combination of Google API data and scrape data. We save all available data to our database for it to be available after Google shuts down dislike counts in their API. So most likely YouTube will patch this at a certain point, but for now, we will be able to see the dislike ratio of all videos currently on YouTube. In the future when this is patched, basically the extension is going to estimate what the dislike ratio probably is based on view like ratios for other videos that were disliked and archives, etc, etc. Now a lot of people have been asking, why exactly did YouTube implement this update in the first place? Well, in my opinion, it's very simple. Here you can see, YouTube Rewind 2018. This video got 19 million dislikes and only 3 million likes. I think we all know why YouTube implemented the let's remove YouTube dislikes button in the first place because they want to hide the truth. Now, I, I've got a really good example of this. Here on YouTube, Santa Inc., an official Red Band trailer from HBO Max. Now, you may have heard about this, but there's uh, a new HBO Max movie original, and it's about elves and Santa Claus, and it's like an adult cartoon, basically. There's cursing, there's naughty jokes, and, uh, well, th th this video got a lot of dislikes, 76,000 dislikes, only 2,000 likes. Because if you watch the trailer, it's basically just, oh, Santa's a, is a straight white male. White men are bad. We need a female elf to be the new Santa Claus. It's, yeah, it's just a bunch of jokes at the expense of white people, right? And people do not like this kind of garbage. In my opinion, this trailer is offensive. But the position of Santa has mostly been a white man's game. Exactly, it's fucking crazy. Things have got to change. Be gone, fuck! And that's why YouTube disabled dislikes. Because they don't want people to know that people are fed up with this woke propaganda nonsense from the corporations. Now, the most hilarious thing about this trailer was uh, <laughs> the comments were turned off because <laughs> people had a lot of based and red-pilled replies. And this is probably the future of the platform. Uh, no dislikes, no comments, no anything. <laughs> Some of these comments are so based. I especially enjoyed the B-plot where the elves trick the North Pole into letting in millions of abominable snowmen, telling them it'll improve their economy, but actually just skyrocketing the crime rate. So you can see that these were some fairly spicy comments. But more importantly, and I believe this is the part everyone is missing, this isn't just people trolling a YouTube video because they don't like the trailer. They're trolling the YouTube video because YouTube disabled the dislike button. People need an outlet to vent their frustration. Normally, people would just type dislike, I'm done. But now that people can't see dislikes, no one know. Like, this is the whole point. They're trying to hide the perception. Because if I see this video without the dislike uh, extension, it's only gonna, it's just gonna say uh, Santa Inc, official band trailer, HBO Max, 460,000 views, 2,000 likes. You see 2,000 likes and you're like, oh, 2,000 likes isn't bad, you know? This must be, uh, people must like this trailer. It's quite obvious that at this point, they're blocking dislikes because they don't want people to know that trailers like these are getting 76,000 dislikes 
and only 2,000 likes. And I think that's the real goal of this, my friends. They want to hide public perception so they can push their woke propaganda and nonsense. This is all about the corporations trying to push their woke uh, agenda. But that, my friends, is merely the obvious. Well, that's all for now, folks. What do you think about this story? Let me know by commenting down below in the comment section. As always, support the channel by joining me on a Patreon or Subscribestar. If you want to donate, check out my donor box page or send me crypto. Links and addresses are down below. Uh, a special thanks to Mel and a special thanks to Vincent for your lovely, lovely donations. Appreciate it so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Anyhow, have a good day, folks. I'll see you all next time.